Hello, everyone. I'm gonna give uh, about 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 a minute or so for some people to join us. Maybe it will catch a good thumbnail of me as I stand here and smile. <laughs> I know I'm a total dork. I have one viewer. Hi, thanks for watching. <sighs> well, welcome. All right, it is eight o'clock. Are your children in bed? Do you know where they are? Are you just hanging out? What are you up to? Um, so I thought, oh, I could have probably looked in the mirror a little bit too. Um, I thought one thing that I could do is before I show you the paint pour demo is just share a little bit of information about, um, I have, I've had a lot of people ask me, oh, the lighting is okay. I've had a lot of people ask me, um, like, is my house filled? What is my house filled with? Do I do a lot of painting and put it on the walls. So I just kind of wanted to share with you a little bit of the things that I enjoy having in my house. Because when I first started painting parties, I had all the paintings up on the wall and it just was kind of crazy. So um, I do have one painting on my wall and it is this one. So this is a painting that I had done, had, um, I, I did. Someone asked me um, if I could paint that picture for them. They actually had seen it in a movie and I said, sure, why not? Um, I also created a, with pallet wood right here, um, and I, I used chalkboard paint and I did this right on the wall and then I screwed it right in. Um, and okay, so at first I used to change this a lot, but, um, it's probably been like this for like two years now. And it says fireflies in summer and it just is nice, so. Um, I also made this sign up here with some pallet wood. It says Little Farmstead established in 2008 because that's the year that I bought my house. Um, this right here, this is like my pantry. Yeah, there's some food in there. Um, but I created this. I actually got this at a thrift store for like $5 and it had like a hutch thing too. And um, I had to chop the legs off because they were really... Um, oh, there's Bentley. You can say hi, Bentley. Um, it was too tall or whatever, but I didn't really know what I was doing back then either, so I just, like, nailed the top on. Um, but I love the shutters. So for five bucks, I got that. Um, I created this out of pallet. So this is basically a pallet that I had torn apart, and then I did attach this part here. The hardest part was figuring out how to get it up on the wall. Um, and so been up there now for a couple years and it hasn't hasn't moved so yay um and let's see here in here I think that's about it besides like my curtains up here I really just used hemp fabric and I used um right here too and I used hot glue and I just put it right over my um whatever that thing's called that holds that thing up there so it looks fancy it looks cool I love farmhouse looks um, in my, so that's the kitchen, and in here, this is something that I created, um, W with my last name. I actually just used the back side of a canvas that I had painted, flipped it over, and then I used a Sharpie to write on here. I, um, wrote on here Proverbs 31, 10 through, um, 31, and it's about the virtuous woman and, you know, that kind of thing. But then I did this in Sharpie on a different canvas and I cut it out and I glued it on there and then I made this um, out of pallet wood. I bet you anything on the back of this. Ugh. Oh no, I, I was gonna say. Uh, I didn't know if the picture was still on the back there. Um, oh, my end tables. I made my end tables out of pallet wood. Ooh, don't look at the dust bunnies that are probably on the ground. Um, but yeah, so I, I made these babies because I wanted something that worked. Um, I made a little one for over here by the small chair, and then I have another one over here. Um, this is this is my life. My dogs sit on the couch all day long. That's all they want to do with the blankies and pillows. And then this is actually, <laughs> welcome to working at home, right? Good thing I'm a business owner. So I have a desk over here, right? But this is where I like to sit and do my work on the ottoman so I can watch the TV right there. But honestly, um, this is really cute. So I'm working on a pet portrait and, um, oh, 
cute. But um, I, I do a lot of the busy work during the day and then at night I just can just paint and relax while I'm watching TV. So um, I also made this here. I wanted to have a giant window, just a frame, but not super heavy. So I actually just went to um, Home Depot or Menards or something like that and bought just small little boards and ended up screwing that into the wall there. And then I made my shutters. So those are kind of cool. <laughs> um, some fun things over here. This is just palette wood and all I did was I just put a stencil over it and painted that and that's it. That's all that's up there. Not too, too hard. Um, then in this room, this is like the dog room basically, um, again, palette wood up here that I just did like a wash with white on it and then I wrote the word home with a couple flowers. And I just put some, made it look kind of cool just by putting that on here and then actually just stapled a big old, um, one of my friends, Russ, owns the Mission Coffee House. So I got this awesome thing there. So you should, you should definitely go buy some Mission Coffee from my friend Russ at the Mission Coffee House in Plover. Um, here, oh, um, a screen that I had painted on. Now, um, I do know that I spell things wrong and this has been on my wall for years and I posted it and someone was like, did you know that you spelled unbelievably wrong? I know I always spell things wrong. I always, always do, but it's so funny because I had no idea. It's been on my wall forever. Um, and then my bathroom. Um, this up here is a sign that I made. It says, a good life is when you assume nothing, do more, need less, smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and love others. One of my favorites. And then the very first thing I ever made out of wood is way up here. It says, live, laugh, love. I don't know, I've never taken it down, so that's that. Um, but that's really about what I have. I mean, besides this picture that I made, um, but I have some cool things. My good friend Hannah Hall, I don't know if you're watching, but um, her husband also makes the coffee at the Mission. Um, they had this old um, ladder here. It was like, I don't know, like 16 feet long. Cut it in half and I just did a whitewash to it and you know. Um, so you never know what you might find and I have learned that I have to really um, make sure that I don't buy too much stuff or pick up too much stuff um, at garage sales um, because I do tend to, you know, <laughs> my basement used to be filled with stuff and I do have a couple other things around here, but there's no need for me to tell you what they all are. Anyway, so I welcome, that is my house basically. Um, and it takes me a really long time to put stuff up on the walls because I just, I don't know, I want it to look nice, but not be too cluttered and, um, I, it feels weird to put my own paintings on the wall, but I enjoy creating things out of pallet wood just because I love the rustic farmhouse look. That's that's kind of the style that I go for. So, um, I well, you you may ask me if I would make you some end tables or something like that, but I'm not really that gifted. They probably would fall apart if anyone else in the world had them. They look really good um, for my minimal use. That you know I my coffee on them and you know that's <laughs> so but anyway I thank you for the nine of you who subscribed to my new YouTube channel I have not figured out how to go live on both but I did figure out how I can catch a link here and bring it over there so something that I'll probably do so thank you Wendy for watching and thank you Casey for um, watching and Oh, you guys are so nice. Okay, paint pouring. I don't have my paint pouring supplies at home. So I am going to um, try paint pour pouring tonight and I, I did not do a sample. So we're gonna see how this goes. I am going to be doing, now they say that you have to be using all glue, like Elmer's glue all. I have school glue, so we're gonna try it. I did look up a recipe at least that said that, and I apologize, it's giant. I bought it like after <laughs> after Halloween, I think it was, and it was like $5. But I just, I don't have those little ones here. I just have 
this monster one. So, um, so what I did was I basically mixed um, the glue in <laughs> in my very nice Pampered Chef um, mixer or cup double cup thing here. Um, so I do make my own Mod Podge, which I do about 50-50 ish, um, and this I believe I used like a 70-30. So I basically put in like three fourths cup glue to a fourth cup water and then um, I stirred it. So when you're stirring it, you want to stir it kind of slow because you don't want to create a lot of bubbles. At the studio, when I do this, I usually, ha oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, Stephanie, I know. So, I'm so sorry, okay, let me finish this and then I'm gonna go to that. So, at the studio, I use Floetrol when I'm doing um, paint pouring. And I also um, have a torch that I like to use because it tends to, you know, bring out colors, but I don't have the, right. I don't have it here. I don't have anything really here, so. First time trying it here this way. Um, and so then, yeah, so um, Stephanie asked me to paint a whimsical cat for her and I have had a couple requests for whimsical pets and I painted my dog whimsical, which was great, but it is kind of tricky to paint other people's pets whimsical because I don't know how you see them in a whimsical way. So I'm, I'm learning, but Stephanie's been awesome because <laughs> I sent her like three different versions of her whimsical cat um, because I just keep, so. Um, yeah, so this was her little whimsical cat that I painted Leo, and I don't know if she's in love with that or not yet, but I did decide to just give her also a little sketch for her being awesome and patient, so she does like the sketch, I know that. Um, anyway, <sighs> so fun painting people's pets. I feel like I get to know you when I get to like paint your pet's eyes because there's so much that a pet shows in their eyes and they're just so cute. Oh, I just love pets. Okay, back to paint pouring. Okay, so, all right, little cups. So what I have done here is I have, oh, I gotta put this down a little bit so you can see a little bit better. This, and, oh, let me, figure this out here like this okay so here um, I have pink so I already put the mixture of glue and paint in here pink and I have a yellow I'm gonna actually do a couple different methods that I have done in the past this is white and this is blue so I'm gonna just kind of show you, I'm gonna mix two more colors and show you how I did that. So this is a darker blue. So I'm basically gonna just kind of put a little, put a little squeeze in there. I would say it's, um, it's like that high. And then I'm gonna pour a little bit of this glue, well, like half, half and half. And then I'm just gonna stir it. I am going to stir kind of slow, not too fast, because if I stir too fast, it's gonna create a bunch of bubbles in there. And since I don't have my torch with me to take out the bubbles, I don't want to be um, paint, uh, stirring too quickly. Uh, because what happens is if you can't get the bubbles out when the, after you're done paint pouring, if those bubbles are still stuck in there, then when they pop, they're gonna create little divots and it's just, it's, it wants to self-level, but it sometimes it needs help, so. Um, okay, so it's gonna return back to its original color here in just a minute. Now you can always add a little bit more water if you need to, but basically you want it to be flowy. You can kind of see how it's dripping, okay? And then I'm gonna do a little bit of this green. Whoa. <laughs> Here and then I'm gonna put some of this in here. Maybe I won't put half. Uh, oh, I gotta grab another popsicle stick. Just gonna grab a bunch of them because I might need them. All right, and I'm gonna stir this. I'm gonna stir two at a time. Do you have questions while I'm stirring? All right. So a couple things is when you are paint pouring, you wanna make sure that you have something to cover 
your table uh, garbage bag would work. If you don't have a tablecloth, like a plastic tablecloth, you can cut a garbage bag up and um, use it a couple of times. With paint pouring, you can actually save the drips, which is kind of a cool thing because then you can, I don't know, do creative art, mixed media. It just creates some cool things. So, so once you stir, you can see it goes back to its original color. The glue is just a medium that helps create this flowy, you want it to be flowy, okay? So, a lot of you have probably heard about the flip cup, right? Give me a like if you heard the flip cup. All right, or the dirty pour, which are relatively the same. Um, there is a swipe, and that one is my favorite. Um, if you like the swipe, give me a heart. <gasps> And then there's another one that I have, I did it when I did my last paint pour party. I did it at the end. Ooh, I like all those, um, those, thanks, thanks, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad to know you guys are keeping up with me here. Um, I basically took all the leftover paint and put it together and did this little thing where you kind of like, woo, all over the canvas. And it is pretty cool. It's not quite a swipe and it's not really, I am putting it all in the same cup, so it is kind of a dirty pour, but it's like a swirly dirty pour. And dirty pour is just the name. Uh, I didn't make it up. That's just what it's called. So I'd like to call it a clean pour, but it's not. It's going to be very dirty. Okay, so first things first, I want to make sure that I have enough to do my swipe. So I am going to be doing a dirty pour just on a piece of wood because... Oh, hold on, my dog's getting into something. Stop. <laughs> and I eat the paint. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so these crazy beasts right here, she is a pig, and she thought that the paint plate was a food plate. <laughs> Oh my word. They're like children, I tell you. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do the dirty pour on this just because I don't have, um, I like to reuse canvases when I'm doing paint pouring, but I don't have, <laughs> um, I don't have one that's prepared. So thank you for laughing. Um, I am going to use... Oh, my dogs, I tell you. I'm gonna use, this is like a piece of harder cardboard. I found it in my stash of stuff to do kind of that swirly one. And then I am going to do the swipe on a canvas. So this is, um, I have eight by tens and 11 by 14s is my normal size. And this one is between them. So I don't know exactly. This is probably an eight by 10. So it's probably a nine by, Probably a nine by 12, I would say. <sighs> Crazy animals. Okay, I use a baggie for the swipe and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So, first up, swipe coming up. So, I'm just gonna clear my space here. Oh, I'm gonna grab some napkins or some paper towel here, quick. Oh, and I'm gonna grab some wipes just to get ready because I will need them. Oh, now my children are fighting right there. Crazy animals. But you love them, right? Do you have a dog out there that you love that when you get on the phone, it all of a sudden is um, barking and talking at you? Uh, my mom is watching me, but she's watching me mute because she's watching a movie with other people right now. So, thanks for watching, Mom. <laughs> I'm getting some wipes ready. I have 20 of you out there. <laughs> so excited. Maybe 8 o'clock is the hour. Did you guys put all your kids to bed? But my dog's just standing right here staring at me. I'm trying to get the baby wipes ready because I know I'm going to need them. Okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. I hope you're all staying home. I'm staying home, trying something new. Swipe. 
here we go. So I want to, I had seen this cool thing where I did the dark color over. So basically all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna be pouring the paint Oh, a lot of times you also put silicone in it, but I don't have my silicone here, so I can't do that. Silicone creates cells. Basically, it allows the paint to open up to show colors underneath it. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, the Floetrol that I typically use creates a lot of cells naturally. I don't know how the glue is going to work, so we're going to try it out together. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some paint here. I'm going to do some lines. Mm, I'm nervous I'm going to run out of paint. I won't be able to do all the stuff I want to do. Okay, then my pink. I love this pink. Now, the problem with this pink is I never pull it out for parties because it is very translucent. But we're going to try it with paint pouring. But it doesn't, it's not really a great paint for, um, for painting with because you have to put like 12 layers on top just to make it show up. So I'm not a big fan of that. Um, now this yellow is a little different brand. Oh yeah, that counts. Um, so this is a little bit thicker. So I did had to add a little bit extra water. So when you are mixing your paint with whatever medium you're using, you wanna make sure it gets that flowiness that it continues to flow. So that's important. So. I'm gonna just, and I'm gonna try something new with my swipe also because I thought it would be kind of fun to try something new too. Okay, there's that. And a little bit of white. Oh, how do I do this here? I don't really know what I'm doing. So I usually don't do paint pours live because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing half the time, so. Okay, now this cool um, tealish color. I'm gonna pour this. See, I'm just really just pouring some lines, just finding some spots that don't have any paint on them, and just putting them, putting it here. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I have a little bit left in each of my cups. So when you're doing a dirty pour, a lot of people like to just kind of, um, you know, tilt it a little bit but I'm gonna be doing a swipe. So this color, lady, where are you going? Come here. <sighs> Children, I tell you, crazy dogs. Okay, so I'm gonna put the blue over here. Lady, what are you doing? She's investigating the closet door that's open. <laughs> that makes me worried, she might have to go outside. Okay, so I'm putting a bunch of it over here. This seems a little liquidy, so I'm gonna see if I have any luck. Okay, now where did, okay. So now I'm gonna take my baggie and I'm gonna put my baggie here just to drown, kind of let it sit into that blue, okay? Now I'm not using a whole lot, I'm just gonna gently drag it so it's gonna drag the blue over those other colors. You can all see it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna drag. So it's really, those colors are underneath there. They're just hiding for right now. But they're gonna start coming out. Ooh, now see, that's pretty. I don't wanna necessarily waste that because I could use that to help fill up. But, oh, I don't even miss this. This is amazing. Do you see the yellow little bubbles that are coming out? <laughs> paint pouring is just like it's so messy but it's just so you never know what's gonna happen it's amazing um I could oh that is so cool okay um so <laughs> I did see someone they took a balloon and they tapped a balloon on there so I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try and tap a balloon over here because these colors are coming out. See, they just, they're continuing to come out. Aw, I miss having you in my classes, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little tap. Okay, that didn't really work. A little tap. Oh, <laughs> got stuck. Okay, it kind of is pulling out a little bit of the, um, I put, oh, the pink. I was like, did I put red in there? <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna try this again. A little tap. I'm gonna pull it up. <gasps> Ooh, kind of made a little swirl. Okay. I. <laughs> my dogs are having a party. <laughs> Okay, I'm just wiping off the balloon in case I want to use it again. I don't want it to drip and I don't want paint to get all over the place. Okay, so some beautiful things are happening here. Now, I can still lift it up and tilt. This is the scary part. Like, do you tilt it a lot or not a lot? I want that pink to come out. That's what I want. So I want to see some of that pink. Let's see if I can get this to kind of swirl a little. Oh, I want more pink to come out. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab the balloon again because I see that there's some pink over here. I'm going to try and grab some. Now you have to be really careful though because you don't want things to get muddy. Um, if you, ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this is turning out so cool. <laughs> I think my, my dogs are so excited because I'm so excited, baby. Oh, I have a very shiny forehead right now. <sighs> okay. Oh, no. My dog just I'm dripping. Oh. like having a conversation oh no look at her. she's like I'm all innocent I'm just laid in my bed I'm not doing anything okay I'm sorry I'm so sorry but let's look let's look oh it's so cool I am loving this love 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 if you love it give me a heart this is why when you come to painting, paint pour parties, they are, they're just so fun because you, it's so unexpected and it is continuing to change as we go. I am so sorry about my dogs. They do not like to be ignored. <laughs> Looks like butterfly wings. Oh, it does. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I don't want to mess this up because it is so pretty so um let me brainstorm here quick i let me wipe my hands off first okay i am going to move this because i don't want to wreck it i want it to dry like that <sighs> maybe maybe i'll give this away so i don't know what do you think would someone be interested in this Aw, I miss you guys so much, too. This is why I keep coming live, because otherwise I just am going to be lazy in my pajamas all day, and I'm actually <laughs> kind of wearing my pajamas. <laughs> um, okay, so, but you don't need to know that, do you? Okay, I'm just going to move this really quick, because I would love to give this away to someone, um, and... I'll double your odds if you go to my new YouTube channel and subscribe. I don't know. Um, I'm trying something new with YouTube. So I finally have a YouTube channel. Um, and I don't know how to help you get there except I posted the link. So um, awesome. So yeah, if you like this post and you go subscribe to my YouTube, then I will put you in a drawing and I will, you know, how about this? I'll draw tomorrow morning. <gasps> that will be awesome. That will mean that. Well, yeah, I'll just tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna run this to the kitchen quick and set it on the table so nothing happens to it, and then I will be right back, and my dog's are gonna chase after me, so, just so you know. Okay, almost to the kitchen. Okay, 
Okay, I am back. I'm so glad that you're all still here. I'm gonna grab another. Um, now remember, if you don't have something like this to put down, you just cut up a garbage bag because you can definitely get a couple uses out of it. And I am, um, this is messy. So you need to have something to cover your spot. I don't, um, well, this will be fine. I should be able to do the last two on the same spot because they're not that. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is going to be, oh, hopefully I have enough paint. I should have enough paint. Um, is I am going to do what is called the, um, I'll do the, the dirty pour, okay? And then I'll do the little cool thing last because it's pretty cool. So the dirty pour is basically when you have your, um, I'm gonna just use a piece of wood just because it's, I, I would probably actually use one of those little tiles if I had one here, but I don't have them at home right now. So with a dirty pour, basically a flip cup, you're gonna put all your paint in a cup, you're gonna flip it upside down, you're gonna, so let's just do that, okay? I'm gonna just put a little bit in. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white. Um, here, I'll just, can you see what's happening inside of my cup though? That would be kind of cool if I can get you a little closer. Whoa, there, I think you can, there, now you can see inside my cup. And I don't think, so when I've done these parties before, um, people have tried to put them in certain orders and we really, it doesn't really, we don't really see a huge difference um, depending on how you pour it. So some people poured them exactly the same way and they all turned out different. So I guess it doesn't really matter. So this will be kind of pretty because we'll see how it turns out with all these colors. Oh, my dogs are in the closet again. Oh. Okay. So a lot of times it's kind of nice to do two because that way you can get... I just don't want to use all my paints because I want to do the other one for you last. A little pink, a little green, I'm probably in the wrong order, but that's okay. A little bit of blue. And it's all like hiding in here. And last one, yellow, okay. So one thing that uh, was suggested when you do this is that you just put a little cross in there. Like that. And then <laughs> the first time I did this demo, I had a group of teachers in the studio and I was like, and then you take it and you flip it over. And I didn't think about the fact that you should probably go like this. <laughs> so I appreciate my teacher's friends teaching me how to do that. So I want to let it sit for about uh, at least a couple seconds so that way the paint has a chance to kind of come down and fill up that thing. Fill up. I want all the paint that's way up here to get way down there. Okay, so while that is doing that, then I can do, um, I'm gonna fill this cup up for the very last one that I'm gonna do. So here I'm just gonna start putting in, so I'm gonna fill this one and then I'm gonna set it to the side while I do this and then we'll come back. So all these same colors and we'll see the different type of results that we get from them. So here I'll kind of put it over here so you can see down into that a little bit better. Blue. Oh, I should probably put a little white in between the blues. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't really know all the um, fancy things that are happening when you do this. I just know it's fun and it's exciting and, <laughs> oh, and I love that last one that we did. It was so amazing. We'll have to take a look at it before I leave. I'll walk you guys to the kitchen so you can see it. So here's this. I'm probably not really in any particular order filling up this. All right, okay, so now set that to the side because we're gonna do this one last. So I'm gonna move these out of the way. This is going to be a flip cup. So you can use a straw for blowing things around. You could use a blow dryer. It's funny, I actually have a blow dryer at the studio. I don't have a blow dryer at my house, so I can't use a blow dryer to blow it around. Um, I did try getting one of those air cans once, but it pretty much, like if you spray air at it, it will shoot across the room. So you wanna make sure you have a box around for that. Okay, ready? I'm gonna pull it up, get a good view. You can see it. Okay, 
pull it up. Ooh. Oh, look at the inside of the cup, it's so pretty too. Okay, so this is really neat. It's gonna start kind of going around. And so I did mix a lot of colors in here, so it can get muddy. So you need to be kind of cautious. I also don't have my torch with me, so I can't take out some of these bubbles. So I need to just make sure and see how things happen here. So I wanna make sure I get things over to the side. I need to have a paint pour party. Once we all come back from being stuck in our houses, this one is much messier because your fingers are involved. Oops, make sure I'm staying on the camera here. It's very mesmerizing though to watch the, I'm gonna try and blow. So you probably saw the other day that I posted um, those paint pour flowers and um, Thank you, Casey actually wanted to order one, but I haven't had a chance to get into the studio and I want, I'm, I'm staying home because I wanna stay safe and I want you guys to stay safe so I don't wanna give you a reason to go out. Um, so if you still want it, Casey, I'll, I'll, I can get it for you, but it might be a while. So you can blow things around on here. So this is kinda of how I made those flowers. I shouldn't tell you that because I want you to come to a party once we can. Um, but I really want some pink to come out. So I'm gonna try and blow some, I see that there's some pink over here. Is it weird to watch me <laughs> blow in a straw? <laughs> but isn't that cool? Um, so you can, oh, I like this blue too. I'd like to have some more of that blue shell. It's hard to find it. So when you're doing something like this though, then you can also kind of add, you know, colors to the top of it. So if I wanted to make sure I had more pinks in there, then I can always just drop a little bit of pink on it. And I can um, just twist it around and I can, Blow, I can't remember which side I was blowing out of here. So that's kind of your dirty, dirty pour or the flip cup. So that's kind of how that one works. But it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so there is that one. And again, your hands get really messy with it, but it's still really fun. It's just a little bit more abstract. So I love doing the, a uh, lady, where are you going? Lady, lady. Um, okay, hang on, she's going into the bathroom, which usually makes you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going? Come on. okay. I'm so sorry, other dog owners, I hope you, <laughs> You at least understand this. Okay, so the last one that I'm gonna do is, um, I'll just set this kind of here, but this is where it's all in a cup like this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be kind of twisting it. Um, oh man, I feel like I wish I had a canvas because this is gonna be really pretty, I bet. But I'll just do it on here, it's totally fine. Okay, so this is, you're going to, pour it out of the cup instead of flipping it, but then I'm gonna kind of be moving my arm in a circular motion, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna see what happens. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of start swirling. And you can see that as those colors are coming out, they have, the, I have no idea what this is called, if this is called something, but I love it. I would call it a, a swirly <laughs> maybe oh it looks like a snake or something it's so cool oh man love it I actually like really really love this part right here oh man those greens oh those are beautiful you see this look at that Oh, it's so pretty. So 
Then from here, you can tilt. Um, now it, it's kind of, it looks like a snake or something, doesn't it? What do you think it looks like? Um, this way, oh, it's gonna hide my favorite part though. So this is what I had done at the end of one of my last parties um, because I didn't want to waste any of the paint colors and it looked um, it looked really amazing. See and look at how that waste, oh man, but I can keep this so this will dry right on this plastic piece here and then you can save it to do other things with it. It's called skin paint pour skin I actually save it in like those page protect protectors um, and if you come to one of my painting parties we actually do the swipe with um, with the page protectors so that way they're right on there already but look at that isn't that just beautiful so I have never used the glue before and I'm pretty impressed with how the glue is turning out so I um, really really cool so once you have something that's like this there's just some there's so many really cool colors that I have left I want to use them so I'm gonna just kind of do a couple little um, now I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right here but this is usually what I end up doing sometimes too when I'm by myself just playing around seeing what happens here and a lot of this you just kind of learn through trying something so that I guess didn't go as cool as I thought it was gonna be <laughs> but so but I don't know I just feel like oh it's so fun so now I want to make sure that I move this over a little bit so oh, and I do have some drips on the floor so I want to make sure I clean those up right away don't do this in a carpeted area <laughs> Okay, um, I am using acrylic paint, which will stain if you get it on um, fabrics and things like that. So um, it's good to keep some, um, I, well, I have wet wipes, but um, like washcloths nearby, or if you have specific art washcloths, that's also really, really good. Ah. Uh, um, Melissa says Jack wants to come. Jack is one of my little kids who used to come to my like mini makers basically back when I used to teach at Mead Elementary and so he can come. That would be so fun. I did have a little kid come once. Um, so mom and child shared it because there was two canvases for that. So all right. So I'm going to move this here quick and I'm just going to show you. We got this was with that swirl and then this one here was the dirty with the flip cup. And I mean, look at the mess that I have created here. It's quite a mess. And then the balloon is also here. So you need a lot of space. But let's go take a quick look at the one that I put into the kitchen uh, because that one was amazing. And then I'm probably gonna have to let you go because my dogs are gonna be outside. So, oh, this looks really cool. So there is that one that we did with the swipe. So I am going to be giving this away I'm gonna make my announcement tomorrow who wins this. So you have to at least have um, liked something on this live video. Um, you can make a comment that maybe you get extra point if you make a comment, I don't know. <laughs> and then um, if you go to my YouTube, my brand new YouTube page, which is, I only have the link for it in the, post that I posted earlier, I can try and add it. I I tried to, to go to YouTube and type in iHeartArt Studios, but I had a hard time finding it under my regular account. So I don't know how you can find it, but, um, but thank you for watching. I can hear my, oh, how long does it dry? Oh, I'm just gonna let my dogs in because that's a great question. Usually they can take days to dry. So, here, I'm letting the herds come in here. Um, and so I, at least overnight for sure. And then what I do with, um, okay, so for paint pour, I would say you're gonna wanna have at least two days dry time. 
Um, something like this, it looks super shiny, but it will actually dry more matte than glossy. So they look really, really glossy, but they're not. So what I usually will do then is I will put like a sealer over the top of it that's a gloss sealer, and that will then, um, but I usually wait until day three before I do that to make sure it's all completely dry. Otherwise, what will happen is you'll end up with some cracking. And um, now these aren't, these are for fun. They're not like, um, like archival. I There's a lot of really big words that can go along with this for fancy people. And I love the fancy people who do this, but I am just a regular <laughs> non-fancy person. And so, um, so there, it's really, you know, I, I can do a seal on that one to bring back the gloss, which a lot of time it's just kind of a Mod Podge that you can put over it. They also have like uh, acrylic sealers that you can spray. They're very, they have really strong fumes though, so you can't do it in the house. And a lot of them, you can't spray those sealers if the temperature, if you have to go outside, is below like 50 degrees. So I usually do a uh, Mod Podge where I sweep it on. And um, that is, <laughs> I have child issues happening upstairs. <laughs> um, oh, my son's probably playing a video game and he probably lost, so he got mad and... I heard it so anyway so um yes so they need at least three days to dry so whoever wins that I won't be able to give it to you for probably a couple weeks or so because we are kind of on home we're all homebound right now <laughs> Um, and if you know of a place that has a drive through post office, I would love to know that because I am needing to, um, ship some things and I really, I want to stay protected myself and you should too. And so I would prefer to not have to go into a post office, but, um, hopefully in a month or so I can have that ready for whoever wins it. So head out to my YouTube page and like subscribe. That's the word I was looking for. And then I will announce my winner tomorrow. Any other questions? Aww. Hi, Jack. I miss you. I miss Nora. I miss all my kids. I miss my mini makers. <sighs> all right. I don't see any other questions. But I hope you enjoyed. I thought it was a lot of fun. And um, thanks again for watching. And let me know. What else do you want to see? I would love to do some fun things for you. Um, I was asked about putting this into a kit and it's a little tricky. And so I'm just not sure about doing a, a kit with the paint pour stuff, but you know, I could, something I can look into later. Cause you know, I do have some, um, I have a lot of this stuff I have already in containers that I have pre-mixed already in containers. So I don't have to, mix it every time I do it. And that's kind of a handy thing, but it is a little pricey because you go through a lot of paint when you're paint pouring. You can see all of the, um, all of the stuff that's left here. If it wasn't so muddy, I could probably use it for other things. So, but I hope you enjoyed. Yes, I hope that you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Oh my gosh, it was like 45 minutes. Sorry about that. But um, have a great night and we'll see you we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.